<laughs> Let me first address the misconception that once these trees get into their maturity, economic maturity, that they quit growing. As a matter of fact, they don't. They, they continue to sequester carbon at a fairly high rate. In fact, my friends over at uh, Harvard Forest are showing that they're actually speeding up their growth as they go on, as they get older. And of course, uh, the, the amount of carbon they're going to store is, is the proportional to the leaf mass or area. And you, these bigger trees are going to have more of that. So, so they're going to continue to pull carbon out of the air. Now, if you take a very small, well, if you take a very, very small, tiny, tiny tree, uh, it may be growing at a very rapid rate. That's true. Percentage-wise, it's growing at a rapid rate. But how much are you, are you going to get carbon-wise out of a tiny tree or a small part? It's a little bit hard right now, I think, to determine exactly where the curves cross, where rapid growth of younger trees uh, gets gets uh, uh, counterbalanced, you know, against older trees that are larger. I can't give you an exact figure, but it's not what most people think. I mean, most what you tend to hear is you think that it's a very young forest. That's not really the case at all. Yeah, yeah, it, it's it's much less. It's it's <clears throat> it's the, people talk about the percentage rate of increase, but a percentage rate of increase of a seedling this big is not very much carbon. It's like saying, do you have $100 in your bank account or $1,000? And you're putting in $10 every month. Well, the growth rate of the $100 is much greater than the growth rate of the $1,000. But, but you're, you're, you know, it's not, it's not, I'd rather have the $1,000 in my bank account than the $100. And even if I lost some of it, remember these trees are, are living to be 200, 300 years. If we got two or 300 years worth of, of carbon storage out of these before the wind knocked them down, or on average, whatever it was, we would really be way ahead from where we are. Let me just wrap up here, and then we'll go to questions and answers for everybody.